Ankit Ma'at, Ankit Ma'at. Dwa for coming. I'm so happy that you're here. So pleased that you're here for Comedic Ascension. Ankit Ma'at to you all. Please come on in, come on in, come on in. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for coming into Comedic Ascension today. I want to say to you that I'm not going to be here very long today. We're going to actually have a very brief conversation um, simply because we are, um, it's it's a very busy day. Anika has meetings today. I also have a meeting today that cannot be postponed or avoided. It is a really, really important scheduled meeting. So I only plan to be here for about an hour. We'll only be here for about, uh, until about one o'clock. And so I'm going to um, hopefully have a very quick discussion with you. <laughs> My next meeting starts at one. So as we begin, let me say Ankin Ma'at to you. Welcome to Comedic Ascension for February 25th, 2024. We are so honored that you've chosen to spend part of your Sunday with us. It is so amazing that you've done that. And we're honored that you've done that. With that, you may know that as, and you can see that I'm in the study today. I did not go down to the shrine. It just was easier to do it here today because we don't plan to be here. I don't plan to be here long. And Anika is not running the tech today. So I figured we would just come from my study today to have our brief conversation. Can I go ahead and ask you to do what we always do? Please let us know how long you've part of, been part of Comedic Ascension and where in the world you are. Please tell us how long you've been part of Comedic Ascension and where in the world you are. Uh, let me go ahead and say Ankin Ma'at to Tehuti Forever um, out in Bennu in Phoenix. He's the, the Jati of Phoenix. It's good that you're out there, brother. I hope all is going well. Ankin Ma'at to Robert Bunag um, from Daly City near San Francisco. It's wonderful. And your girlfriend who is in Los Santos, um, Los Altos near San Jose. Ankin Ma'at to you. Ankin Ma'at to Anthony Jones. Ankin Ma'at. Ankin Ma'at to Karen Kyle and to Seek Energy Within. And Ankin Ma'at to Queen Emma Grace. I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Ankin Ma'at. Ankin Ma'at to Lynn Unbuntu, one of our, another one of our full members. Ankin Ma'at to you. As for Fanta Tracy in Hydesville, uh, Maryland. Ankin Ma'at to you. Ankin Ma'at to Asar Minton M. Hotep. Ankin Ma'at. Ankin Ma'at, dear brother. Ankin Ma'at to Joanne um, Jahi Adisa from Columbus, Georgia. And Ankin Ma'at to Jason J Holmes, one of our um, very active members who's been involved for about six years out of Lincoln, Nebraska. How are you, Sen? It's good to see you out there. Ankin Ma'at to Sinet Ashley Amara, another full member. Um, it is wonderful that you're out in Houston. I hope Houston is treating your new, new-ish home. You've been there for a little while. New-ish home is treating you well. Ankin Ma'at to you. Ankin Ma'at to Sinet Cheryl Lee, another one of our active members out in the DMV and involved for about seven years. I hope you are well, Sinet. It's so good that you're there. Ankin Ma'at to uh, Tasetti, who's been involved for about 14 months. You are at EE -E to uh, you for um, uh, uh, for the um, thanks for enlightenment. Ankin Ma'at to Ronald Green. Ankin Ma'at to you. Ankin Ma'at, dear brother. Ankin Ma'at to um, uh, Anthony Jones in Northrop VA and Heru Asar Ank Amun Ra, who's been involved for about four years. Um, Ankin Ma'at to you, coming out of Dallas, Texas. Ankin Ma'at to Robert James, who's coming to us from the UK. Um, and Ronald Green is coming to us from Alton, Illinois for over two years. Ankin Ma'at. And Ankin Ma'at to um, uh, Sakina Ra, one of our full members, active member out in North Fork, North Dakota. Um, Ankin Ma'at to you, dear Sunet. Ankin Ma'at to Anton Amun Ra, coming in from the Windy City, Chicago, one of our active members, full, full members. Ankin Ma'at, Ankin Ma'at. Um, and I see Robert Munag says that he wants to know more. 
definitely will talk to you about the more that you can learn. But one of the great things that you can do is always being part of Comedic Ascension because we're there's so much that we cover right here. Ankan Ma'at. Ankan Ma'at to Kareem Ahmad Reed. Ankan Ma'at, it's good to see you um, again as well. Um, and I see you're coming out of South Carolina by the way of Delaware and Philly. Ankan Ma'at, Kareem Ahmad Reed. Ankit, you emailed me, Sakina Ra? Oh, boy. Sorry, I, I'm sure I missed your email. I'm sure because I do not remember reading an email from you. I will look for it today. Ankit Ma'at to you. Ankit Ma'at to Im, um, in, in, oh, Inpu Meduwa. I see what you're doing there. Ankit Ma'at to you um, from Evergreen, Alabama. Evergreen, Alabama. Don't we know who you are? You um, one of our full members? Tell us your name so I can be sure. Akin Ma'ata Harajuti Pata Umika Temra, who is one of our full members out there um, in Oakland for four years strong. Akin Ma'at. Akin Ma'ata Clee Ford, one of our other full members out of Queens. Akin Ma'at. Akin Ma'ata Shabaka Rama'at, coming to us from Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And Ankit Ma'at to Sun Child, Ankit Ma'at to you, Ankit Ma'at to Minnie, who's coming to us um, from Mississippi. She is Sacred Woman, Ida Kadiatu, Kaditu, Kaditu, Kaditu is how you say it? I thought it was Kadi, oh yes, Kaditu, not Kadiatu, that's right. Kaditu, Ankit Ma'at for three years. Ankit Ma'at to James Lemba, coming to us from uh, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Ankit Ma'at to... Hemet Neder, oh, it's moving quickly. Hemet Neder Sashat, Ankan Ma'at to you. Ankan Ma'at to um, Alan Mayu, another one of our full members. I thought that was you, Sen Jason Edwards. Inpu M. Dua, that's what it was. Thank you. Uh, I, I did not realize. See, I'm not usually behind the computer. I did not see that's the name that you've been putting up. Jason Edwards or Inpu M. Dua is one of our full members. Ankan Ma'at to you. Ankan Ma'at to Sandra Sid Ra from the BK. Ankan Ma'at. Ankan Ma'at to Josh A. Josh A. Left the evangelical Christianity and now seeking comedic ascension. What a road. What a road. I'd love to hear more about that. Send me an email um, at jed at shrinamaat.org. We'd love to hear more of that. Ankan Ma'at to De La Fulton. We have been meaning to meet. I have meeting to, been meeting to set some time for, to meet with you for so long. Please chalk it up to my busy schedule, my head, not my heart, um, Sinet Della. Um, we we murmur you deeply. We just have been extremely, extremely busy. And once again, here's another Sunday. So many people go to their spiritual um, institutions or not. And they have relaxing Sundays watching TV. My Sunday is, is ridiculous. So Ankan Ma'at to you. Ankan Ma'at to Onuris Benu Montura from Savannah, Georgia. And Onaje Bryant, one of our full members. Ankan Ma'at to you. Ankan Ma'at to Tiffany Stewart from Patterson, New Jersey. And Willet Luis Efua Ma'at Robinson Obujewa. Um, all set. Ankan Ma'at to you coming out of Baltimore. It's not easy doing this all yourself. Ankan Ma'at to Kara Sidson from Philadelphia. Ankan Ma'at to Anthony Brown. Ankan Ma'at to Ra Amen Amun. Ankan Ma'at. Ankan Ma'at. Ankan Ma'at to Samantha uh, Kaliti. I hope I'm saying that right. Ankan Ma'at. And you've been coming around from North Cali, Sonoma in North Cali for about four years. Four years, Ankan Ma'at to you. Ankan Ma'at to, ah, oh, wow. Ankan Ma'at to Sen, Larry, and Senet Kenya coming to us from Jersey. Ank and Ma'at to you, that dear couple, both members of the Shrine of Ma'at. We are uh, honored that you are all here. Ank and Ma'at to you all. As I said a little bit earlier, I plan not to be here that long today. We have a ridiculously busy day, and, and Anika is even... Um, in meetings that she could not avoid today as well. So um, I don't plan to be here as quite as long um, uh, today, but I do want, I did want to come in, pop in and, and, and at least spend a little bit of time with you, do the opening of the way, go through a very brief discussion on what it is to be a Camite so that you can come into this period um, uh, in, in power as we enter 
what will undoubtedly be the spring period in the Western Hemisphere. For those of you who are in the Western Hemisphere, by the way, I think the person that is furthest away is uh, Sen Robert James, who is coming to us from the UK. Um, definitely, I saw you there, good Sen, and I'm so happy that you are there. Ankan Ma'at to Teet Devon. Ankan Ma'at, Ankan Ma'at, Ankan Ma'at to you. So let us do the opening of the way. This is how we actually celebrate the divinity within us, remind ourselves that we are imbued with divine power, that we are in fact divine. It allows us to remember just how powerful we are, just how capable we are, just how infinite we are. The opening of the way was put into its current fig configuration by our elder, Baba Heru Ankara Samad Sepata. Please make sure that you are celebrating him over at the studio of Pata. Go visit him physically, send him greetings, even send him donations. Um, it is challenging to do this kind of work as he has done for so long and have it be what you do, right? That's not easy to do. So please celebrate our elder, welcome our elder into any space that you are in and go and say hello if you can as well. But definitely let's make sure that he is whole financially. Send him some um, some uh, donations. And let me say in advance, dua for the donations that you usually send to us. As we usually say, we don't do this for money, but it does take money to do it. So let me just go ahead and say that we should be doing the opening of the way. And as we do the opening of the way, as you know, as so many of you are regular members of Cometic Ascension, regular folks who come to these gatherings, you're going to stand in what is known as a position of adoration. That means that you're going to stand upright. Remember, I'm here live with you. This is not a, this is not theater. Stand with us and do this, this ceremony, this ritual. As you stand upright, Step forward just with your left foot just a little bit, and then take your palms and expose them in front of you. As you expose them in front of you, you can feel free to let the, let the left palm be a little further forward than the right palm, and the right palm can be a little bit lower than the left palm. This is called the position of adoration, and our ancestors replicated this um, position on papri, on temple walls, uh, for thousands of years. So we know that it is important to our ancestors. We know that this position is the one that allows us to both give and receive divine energy. Is there a better position that we should be in in our gathering when those people who hear the call, hear the call of the traditions of our African ancestors gather? No, I don't think there is. So please stand with us in the position of adoration. Then you're gonna take a deep breath and breathe from your belly. I wish I had asked someone to come in with us today to do the opening of the way, since I'm doing it all myself. It would have been fun to have someone else do it. Next time, be prepared for this, okay? Take your breath and chant the word of everlasting life, Ankh. Oh. Anetrak in bed het. Nuke in bed het. Anetrak hapi. Nuke hapi. Twao inter. Turn to your right. Anetrak serket, nuk serket. Anetrak keb senuf, nuk keb senuf. Twao inter. Anetrak ast, nuk ast. Anetrak amset, nuk amset. Twao inter. Anetrak neat, nuk neat. Anetrak dwa mutef, nuk dwa mutef. Twao inter. Anetrak newt. Nuke newt. Anetrak geb. Nuke geb. Twao inter. 
Anetrok shoo. Nuke shoo. 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 I should have said nuke shoo here. Nuke shoo. Anetrok tefnut. 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 Nuke tefnut. Twa winter. Anetrok paut in teru. Nuke paut in teru. Anetrok in boo in teru. Nuke in boo in teru. Twa winter. Take your breath. Twelve enter. Dwa 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 for doing the opening of the way with us. I hope that you are doing the opening of the way regularly. I hope that you are prepared to receive, to galvanize divine energy on a regular basis. This is the ceremony that should help you do your work. This is the ceremony that will remind you of just how magnificent, just how infernal you are. And I believe that actually receiving this ceremony on a regular basis, whenever you do anything, important will remind you of just how powerful you are. It will help you get past those stuck points in your life. Don't forget to do the opening of the way. Ankan Ma'at, Ankan Ma'at, Ankan Ma'at. And I see a few more people have, get, have, have joined us. Ankan Ma'at to Jared Williams from Mississippi and uh, Ma'atin Walker from Las Vegas, Ankan Ma'at, Ankan Ma'at to the Schaefers out on in the motherland, Ankan Ma'at to you. Um, I hope that your travels are still going well. Ankan Ma'at to send Michael Herbert, Ankan Ma'at to you. It's good that you're there. Another full member of the Shrine of Ma'at has traveled to Kemet with us. Ankan Ma'at, I hope that all is well. So uh, let me say to you just a word or two really quickly also once again about the opening of the way. I really want to do that um, for a second because I'm really hoping that what you will do is you will remember that um, the opening of the way is one of the most important things that one can do. That the opening of the way is that thing that will allow you to continue to be who you are supposed to be and do what you are supposed to do. Every single time you find yourself overwhelmed, make sure that you, that you, that you are remembering to do the opening of the way. It is of critical importance. And I hope that you will never forget that it is through this tradition that you are able to tap into that portion of your um, of your DNA that remembers what you have done and who you have been so that nothing that comes before you is too challenging, so that what you do is done in divine balance. I'm truly hoping that you will do this because it is important. It is just as important as anything else that you can possibly do. So. Um, I have always felt that when you're doing um, Kometic Ascension and it's just Jabari, one of the things that we should probably do is not have Jabari do Hesi. Um, because I mur you. <laughs> because I mur you. <laughs> That's the reason why um, I don't do the Hesi myself. I'll come on to my dear brother, uh, to Pamela Green Bryant, to Paya Israel from Detroit, Paya Israel from Portland, Oregon, and my dear brother Seiku Kella. Seiku, you and I really do need to chop it up. Um, uh, he's he's really an amazing brother um, that has been doing so much study, and I'm so honored that you joined us. And I see you've learned to do the opening of the way. Ankit Maat to you, Ankit Maat. You will see him doing some amazing work on Sonnetter. Um, and he is my my wonderful brother. In Canada now, I wonder what part of Canada you're in. I'm sure you told me, and I just do not remember. Um, but definitely, we have to find a way 
to spend some time together, my dear brother. I see Curtis Jackson coming to us from, um, uh, I know you're in, well, you were in Pittsburgh, but now I want to say you're in Ohio. Ankan Ma'at, another full member. Ankan Ma'at to Jamar, um, to um, Hemnetter, Jamar Milton. Um, I'm wondering if you are, um, uh, uh, um, Hemnetter, Jamar, if you are back in the States. Um, uh, our dear brother, our dear priest was actually in Kemet. Are you coming to us from Kemet or have you returned safely? I just touched down at home. Ankan Ma'at, I'm so happy that you are safe. Um, and sound back here. Ankan Ma'at to Brother Pempanzi Obabini Kanefer Webin Ra, who was one of our full members, coming to us from North Philly. It is good to know you're there, brother. We haven't seen you in a while. Next time I'm in Philly, we need to break some, um, to, I'm not going to say break bread because we don't need a lot of bread. We're going to chew some salad together. Ankan Ma'at to you. And I see Sen Curtis is in Painesville, Ohio. Yes. I knew that you were in Ohio now. I hope that you're doing well, dear brother, and you're in full Seneb. Um, You just touched down an hour ago in your incomedic ascension. That is commitment. Ankin Ma'at, I have been following your journey via Instagram, and it has been amazing. I came into Facebook today and saw him with, um, uh, chilling with the, the Nubians. I am so happy that you have returned. Dwa, 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 and tur, that you are back safely. I know that you are in the heights. You may be tired, but you are in the heights. <laughs> so Akin Ma'at to you. Akin Ma'at to Kamisha, um, who is Sen Gavin. Yes, we are trying to do a museum tour. I am going to reach out to you. Um, I'm definitely going to reach out to you. Um, because we're trying to go to the National Museum of African American History in Washington, D.C. The first weekend of April. I shouldn't say we're trying. We're going the first weekend of April. We'll tell you more about this as well. Akuma to send Gaston Bryant, who is coming to us from Phoenix, from um, from Bennu. Akuma at to you, dear brother. Akuma at to uh, yes, he's in the, in the heights and exhausted at the same time. I figured that you would be, because that's how I feel when I get back, right? And there's so much to process. There's so much to process. You said you wish the tour was on a Saturday or Comedic Ascension was on a Saturday. We plan to do the tour on a Saturday, not on a Sunday. Um, so let me know what you mean by that, um, Asar um, Minton M. Hotep. Ankin Ma'at to K. Blue 2 as well. So as we continue Comedic Ascension the way that we do it, let me go ahead and um, uh, uh, show you this. Once again, I'm not going to do um, Comedic Ascension and sing by myself because I murder you. And you've seen this before, but I never get enough of it, so I'm hoping that you never get enough of it too. This is... Um, the the jewels of Aten, in many ways, that was the predecessor to the shrine shrine of Paka, um, Pata, and we really need to um, to uh, uh, look at this. Seiku, you typed that and distracted me completely. You know I want to read that. Oh my goodness, I'm going to definitely look at it. Definitely, wow. Ankin Ma'at, Ankin Ma'at. Um, also to, I think I said Anthony Jones already. If not, Ankin Ma'at to you, dear Sen. I think I might have skipped over your name. And Ankin Ma'at to uh, Nikisha Pittison, because um, I definitely um, uh, want to make sure that I'm greeting all of the people that are here. Ankin Ma'at. Oh, and Ankin Ma'at to Michelle Mendez, Sinet Newt out of um, Boston. Ankin Ma'at to you, one of our full members. Ankin Ma'at to you, dear Sinet. Please take a look at Baba Heru and the Jewels of Aten on a show that was coming out of Brooklyn College back in the 80s. Now, for me, the 80s was a long time ago, but not as long as for some of you, because Jabari is getting old. That's, that's what this means. But take a look at this incredible video um, where we're going to just look at Baba, say a few things about the comedic tradition. But before that, Look at how they are bringing Hesse into this wonderful space. Take a look. And please let me know if you can hear it. The audio might not be great just because it's a really old um, cassette tape, but please take a look and let me know if you can hear it.
hear that? Is it coming in and out? I'm going to try to mute. In fact, let's do something else. Sometimes the audio is better. If I share my screen, give me one moment. Oh, it is also on share audio already. So I'm going to try to mute my um, my uh, uh, mic as well. Let's see how it works. Okay, let's give this a try one more time. Peace and blessings. Ancient civilizations are studied for many reasons, but very few of these include the adoption of ancestral ways to modern urban cultures. Our guests today are Kamit Jules of Atun Ray. Welcome. And Tepu. And Tepu. I'm Heru Ankara Samaj, keeper of the shrine of Prata, um, of Kamit Jules of Atun Ray. And I'm Sushani Nitra, the keeper of the shrine and the house of Nitra of Kamit Jules of Atun Ray. Samaj? Samaj, what does that beautiful name mean? Samaj means Prince of the Sun. And Heru refers to the light from above. Ankh refers to eternal life, and Re refers to the hidden sun. And what about Sesheni? Sesheni means the lotus flower, the flower of the Nile. And Nitra, Nut is the celestial, celestial mother, the queen of the sky. And Re is that sun energy, the sun force in each and every one of us. I must say those are very beautiful names with very beautiful meanings. Now, both of you are representatives of uh, Kemet culture. Um, I'd like to know why Kemet and not Egypt? Because Kemet represents the indigenous civilization wrought by African people. Egypt represents a, an imposition by foreign colonizers to this very day. An imposition by who are the, the In 525 BC, the Persians came into Kemet and conquered our peace-loving ancestors. In 300 BC, the Greeks came. In 3 BC, the Romans came. In effect, are you saying that uh, you are the original uh, dwellers of the place we know today as Egypt? We represent that culture. We represent that ancestry. Yes, we do. Hmm, that's very interesting. Um, this symbol that you, you, you hold, uh, can you tell us what it means? It looks very interesting. What's it called? It's called Ankh. Ankh? Ankh. And it means eternal life. We find this name to be an integral part of the young boy king, Amin, Amin Tutank, who they call King Tut. It means living eternally, and it includes the female principle, the children, and the staff, symbolizing the male principle. Is this some kind of a substitute to uh, the um, Christian cross? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, 
the earliest Christians of Alexandria and Ethiopia utilized this as the symbol of Christianity in its beginnings. It was only later that the female aspect was removed, and then we have the imposition of a male, completely male divinity. So, Samanjan she's saying, why, uh, why came it? Why came it in uh, New York City as it is today? I mean, why would you want to live this kind of life? Well, Kemet represents the actual, the establishment of the first urban civilization in the world. For when our ancestors, over thousands of years, moved from the forests of Uganda and Kenya at the foothills of the mountains of the moon, we built a, a culture that was effective to checkmate another culture that was coming into Kemet to try to rape Africa. So we had to establish a beachhead, and we established an urban beachhead in the Delta region, which they now call Egypt. Would you say that this is another attempt by um, 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 black Americans to go back to an African way of life? I would not say it re represents an attempt. It's actually a reality for us. I, I really love that. Um, it is on YouTube. You should look at the rest. Um, it is a wonderful, wonderful video. I had the honor of digitizing it and putting it on YouTube. So it's on the Shrine of Ma'at YouTube channel. Um, and I just love seeing these old videos that remind us that there are some of us who have been doing this for a long time. And one of the folks that had been doing it the longest is our elder Baba Heru Ankara Samad Sepata. Um, so it is such an amazing um, uh, uh, old video from 1987. Did you see that? 1987. Um, I had just, boy, what was I doing? I guess I was a high school student at that time. Some of you probably weren't born because I'm old. I'm old, but definitely, <laughs> um, it was, it was a, a good long time ago. And, um, Baba's consistency has allowed us to be consistent as well. So, um, Ankin Ma'at, Ankin Ma'at, Ankin Ma'at to Baba. Uh, Sanet Tawana, you said, can you share the name once again? Or the name of what? I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I know your, I get your question. Um, and so, and you were a two-year-old baby, Seiku. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a long time ago. It's a long time ago. Um, and so it's always fun to look at the old um, videos of the, uh, uh, and there's, oh, and, and Sanjeti, Ankin Ma'at to the scribe. Ankin Ma'at to you, dear brother. You were six, yeah, see? I mean, listen, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is really, really uh, wonderful that um, we get a chance to um, to see what people were doing in those days. This certainly wasn't the beginning of what they were doing. You can see that they have lots, oh, the name of the video. Um, uh, it is called Kamet Rising, K-H-A-M-I-T. Um, and it's a Brooklyn College interview um, featuring Baba Heru. I'm going to put it in the chat here. Ankin Ma'at to you, um, uh, 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 Sen Shane the Watcher. Good to see that you're there. Ankin Ma'at to you. Um, I'm going to put the link to the video in as well because I think that you might enjoy it as much as as um, as I am. Definitely. And um, Sen Seku, Brother Seku, I've been getting text, just like you mentioned, that there was an interesting um, uh, discussion happening with an Egyptologist right now. I just got two other messages. So obviously, people are saying, you need to see what was what's going on there. So anyway, I'm going to definitely look at it later on today. Really quickly, I'm not going to be here for much longer. I do want to go ahead and show and, and talk a little bit about a topic that I think is of critical importance to us. Um, I want to talk to you about what it means to be a practitioner of this tradition. What it means to be a practitioner of this tradition. By the way, look at that group of practitioners. We're all decked out in masks. Can you see that? Is it not clear that this is during the height of the pandemic? By the way, I don't think that it has been proven that anyone has actually received, um, got COVID outside. But we didn't know that then. So we're all still wearing masks. This is early, early, early in the pandemic. But we still gathered. 
because this is important to us. And so I want to ask you what it means to be a practitioner of the comedic tradition. I'm hoping that in lieu of a longer discussion today, what I'll do is provoke some thought so that you're able to, um, in many ways, um, be prepared for the rest of, um, uh, of your day by really thinking about this question and writing some things down. So here's your question. What are the five things do you think that do you believe might be critical to being a practitioner of the ancient African traditions that come out of the Hopi Nile Valley region or in Africa overall, to be honest. This is not just a Kemetic issue, even though I'm asking you about Kemet, asking you about Kush, but what do you think are the five things that are critical to being a practitioner of these traditions? I want you to, if you're not able to write it all down now, think about it for today and definitely write your list and share them on our page. As you share them, even on your social media, use the hashtag Kemetic Ascension and the hashtag Shrine of Ma'at so that that conversation is one that we can continue throughout the rest of the week. Take a quick look. Oh, that was supposed to be for you um, to think. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Too much time, too much time. Really quick, quickly. These are the things that, yes, I am going to see Dune too. I'm look, I'm excited. Absolutely. These are the things that I am going to say are important for us to think about as we are practitioners of the um of the traditions. First of all, and this one should be absolutely clear to all, you should be. Um, focused on the practice of the uh, of of ma'at of being in ma'at and being in divine balance, and we see here this great, um, beautiful African lady with the feather on her head as the very symbol of moral rectitude, the very symbol of being connected to that which you should do to others and to yourself, being the symbol of the order, the balance of the universe. So clearly, the first thing we should say is that we seek to practice Ma'at. And there has been a lot that our ancestors in the Hopi Nile Valley region have said about how to do this. Whether you're looking at the Sebaite literature of um, uh, of the maxims of Patahotep or the instructions of Amenemop, or even looking at the 40, the 42 sometimes called negative confessions of the um uh, of the Reyu Pertamru and Gair and the New Kingdom um description of the Kemetic tradition. We should be focused on Ma'at. And that means that you should be thinking Ma'at, you should be speaking Ma'at, you should be doing Ma'at. And in doing that, I would say read the text. Read the text. We should always remember that the divine force in the African traditions are in all things. Look at this wonderful image of this tree providing sustenance. There's a long history, by the way, of um, in ancient Kemet, of descriptions of um, how we receive sustenance from the natural world. And this is an interesting image that I won't go deep into because of the, the time frame that we're working with today. But notice that these two are not just re receiving sustenance for their physical bodies, but they're also, their souls are drinking from the roots of the tree. Do you notice the bot? Did you notice the bob birds below? I think that's beautiful. Did you notice that? I think it's beautiful. Um, notice that the tree is feminine. Do you notice the the uh, engorged breast as if they were? It was providing sustenance. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Re recognize a divine force in all things. If you are thinking of all those things around you as divine, you would not be um, a, a a bad steward of the resources of the world. 
You would be seeking to ensure that all the people around you could also return um, to balance through their interaction with you. This is definitely important. And I'm seeing some great lists here, by the way. I see um, uh, uh, Senshan Jedi says, the scribe Sun Jedi says, um, it me, for him, it means to be of good character, African-centered, adherence to Ma'at philosophy, one who studies comedic texts in its African context with rigor, and honoring the spirit of ancestors and agent, uh, agency of humanity. He's not putting his list in order of importance, but definitely that's a, that's a really interesting um, list to me. I see um, Heru Jehuti Pata Umi um, Ka Temra, um, one of our full members, um, coming to us from Cali says, honor of ancestors, recognition of energies and the netter being within, altar work, following the 42 laws of Ma'at, rising daily and seeking Ma'at in ourselves and our community with accountability. Wonderful, wonderful. Our dear brother Seiku says, identity and spiritual well being, self care and mental health, upholding righteous values, community and development growth and empowerment. Can you see that there are some very similar, very, very similar aspects that are coming forward in the list that you've created? There is a way to do this as a practitioner. And you should be thinking about that every, every day. And so this is uh, uh, certainly amazing. Um, Matthew Bradley says, wouldn't a spiritually developed person just by being around others purify them just a bit? Um, due to their fully functioning magnetic field. I don't know if it's it's a magnetic field per se, but I would certainly say that if you are living in Ma'at, it tends to allow others to live in Ma'at. The, 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 the way that you approach the world actually affects all of those people around you. This is important, absolutely. I'm not suggesting that you simply stand there and, and the, the um, universe changes every single time. Remember, this is about balance, right? If what you, if the the space that you are in is so far out of balance that you being in balance is 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 nothing more than a drop in the bucket, then it's time for you to get other practitioners to come with you to assist in the balancing of a particular environment, and that is important too. Recognizing the immortality of the soul today, I think that we think that the immortality of the soul is one that virtually everyone thinks about based on their spiritual traditions and the spiritual traditions, mostly of the Abrahamic traditions, but those concepts came from Kemet. And when we say recognizing the immortality of the soul, this is another way of saying recognizing that we have to do work on ourselves, that these physical bodies are not um, immortal, that these physical bodies are not eternal, but that the stuff that really is what makes us up is immortal. And so that we should be preparing for the transition that we are about to make. Um, I should also say that this says that you had better be in communication with the ancestors because they do not become extinguished by the end of their mortal bodies. That when we actually meet death, we continue to exist in a more powerful phase. If you look at this image, you are seeing a very important ancestor recognizing that he is able to come into the physical realm and to return to Taseket Ma'at, the land of those who practice Ma'at. Look at, look at him. Who is this, by the way, in his in, in his chap in the chapel area of his tomb? Who is this? Who is this that has this full size Ka statue standing in front of the Hatep altar? Who remembers? There we go. Jared Williams says the Jati Meruruka, Taseti as well. Good. That is who this is. Think about what this image shows us. This ancestor is returning. They're not going into the crypt. They're coming out of the crypt. And symbolically, it is meant to remind us that we have access to the ancestors and the ancestors have access to us. We simply need to continue to tune our 
spiritual frequencies so that we are best able to commune with them. That part can be very difficult, but it is possible. We must continue to commune with the ancestors, continue to live in balance and to support them as they are in the afterlife, as they support us as we are in our physical realm. Seeing a few more answers. Um, um, Adam, Adam Iyam, 720, I'm sure I've butchered your name. Um, to that, I apologize. Says, prayer, altar work, natural diet, seasonal rituals, language and study. Really good, really, really good descriptions here, by the way. Really good um, descriptions that are coming from all of you. And here you are seeing the Ba statue. I think this is of Yuya, by the way. By the way, it is a beautifully African looking. Is that you, Curtis Jackson? Oh, you just signed in under another name. Ankin Ma'at to you, dear son. Look at this beautiful Ba statue. Why did our ancestors put the heads of those who had made their transition on the bodies of birds? Because in many ways, the symbolism that they were trying to evoke is the concept that when you go to the afterlife, you can be um you can alight just like a bird and be anywhere that you're no longer um uh, uh restricted by the dictates of these physical bodies with their bipedal mo motion right that you can just be anywhere and return and so they actually depict this portion of the soul the ba this is the ba that has your personality the 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 so the part of your soul that has your personality they depict it on the body of a bird this is sacred symbolism connecting to your african heritage connecting to your african heritage i would say is a very important part of this and and this african heritage is not just a heritage that um is evinced in the hopi nile valley region you're seeing here the image of the Shango bone that shows that these traditions that found themselves in Kemet have a much earlier antecedent. We're seeing that this symbol that is connected to sacred mathematics is etched, it, uh, essentially it is the incised femur of a baboon. This particular one is um, about 20,000 years old. 20,000 years old, and it was found uh, uh, near the Semliki River on the, uh, in the Democratic, of, uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So just keep in mind that we're seeing sacred mathematics all the way south, south, south central Africa, thousands of years before Kemet is Kemet. But remember, it is on the incised bone of a baboon. This tradition actually links back to Kemet. Because Kemet is the flowering Afri of African civilization. It is not the beginning of African civilization. Look at an even older artifact known as Le Bombo Bone, the Le Bombo Bone. Um, and this is literally twice as old as the Ishango Bone. This one is found in um, the area of what we would call Swaziland today, near South Africa. And it is also a mathematic device incised on the bone of a baboon. So how is it that we are seeing sacred mathematics connected to the baboon and then we see exactly the same thing when we look at Jehuti, the symbol of sacred mathematics being connected to a baboon in one instance over 40,000 years later, in another 20, 18,000 years, less than 18,000 years later. But I want you to keep in mind that our ancestors may have had a unified understanding of mathematics that was imbued in their sacred connection to the divine on a mathematic realm, in the mathematic realm and also in the spiritual realm. Connection to your African heritage is a, an important part of your, um, of your connection to the comedic tradition. And then finally, I'm going to just make this simple and saying, being the best version of ourselves and, and becoming better and better every day. The, the, the goal of trying to be better, the goal of working to improve oneself, the goal of becoming more and more balanced is also 
of critical importance. And here you are seeing an ancestor, tell me his name, having his heart, his ob weighed against the feather of Ma'at. And in doing that, he is to become a Tsar himself. Be the best ber version of yourself as you move forward. This is of critical importance. So I told you that I did not have as much time today as I normally do. It is 1256. I'm going to actually say Shemin Ma'at to you here by giving you um, this affirmation for today. It is a prayer that you hear us often speak, and I want you to just recognize that we speak it here again. It is, and yes, Jahim Ra says, it is Hunefer, correct, dear brother, good, good work. And Usur, um, Ursur Ma'at, um, Grand Risings, dear, Grand Risings, dear um, um, Sen as well. Um, let me just say that I'm going to say what we often call, at, um, uh, what prayer should I do? Um, what prayer should I do? Any idea of what prayer we should do? Uh, maybe we should do the, um, I, I'm drawing a blank on which one I should do. Um, I don't know what prayer I should do with you. Usually this is something that Anika does. Um, let me say we can do the um, the Amasu. Let's do the Amasu. That's our go-to prayer. So we'll say Amasu and Panter. Give yourself daily for the divine. Keep yourself daily for the divine and do it tomorrow just as you did it today, Twa winter. We'll do that, that prayer in closing. Um, let me simply say to you that, and I see someone asking about initiation. We have been so busy. We are planning on having initiation. You'll hear more about that coming very soon. Very soon, very, very soon. Ankan ma'at to you, Ankan ma'at to you. I hope that you are having an amazing day. Live in the light and continue your list. Share them on social media so that we're able to continue doing the work with you. With that, let me say, Shemin ma'at, go forth in divine balance. We will see you soon.